What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. For today's video, we are going to be making a keto green bean casserole for Thanksgiving since it is just right around the corner. I wanted to show y'all some low carb options that y'all could do for sides on Thanksgiving. So let's get straight to the video. So the first ingredient you're going to want is a pound of fresh green beans, a couple of slices of bacon. This is a two pound thing that you do see, but I'm not going to be using all of this. I'm only going to use a little bit. So just a couple of regular bacon slices would do. Sliced mushrooms, some original chicharrones, some shredded cheddar cheese, a block of cream cheese, chicken broth, some tamari sauce or soy sauce. And for our seasonings, you're just gonna want some salt and pepper and some garlic powder. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my green beans and I'm just gonna start cutting off all the ends to them. So after you have cut all your ends off, I did just cut any big pieces in half. And now we're just going to place these in a microwave safe bowl. After you put your green beans in a microwave safe bowl, I'm just going to pour one fourth cup of water on top. After you pour your water in, I'm just going to pop this in the microwave for two minutes. After two minutes in the microwave, we're just going to start frying up some bacon. So you just want to set this to the side and don't drain the liquid that is left in there because we're going to use it. So now we're gonna start moving on to our bacon. So you just want a pan, and you only need about four to five slices chopped up. And we're just gonna cook the bacon until crispy. So after you have your bacon nice and crispy, I'm just gonna take it out and set it to a bowl to the side. And you do want to leave your baking grease in and now we're going to add our mushrooms. And we're just going to cook the mushrooms down. While your mushrooms are cooking down, we're going to add 6 ounces of that cream cheese. And you do just want to cut it up so it's a little bit easier to cook. And we're just going to stir the cream cheese in until melted. Once your cream cheese is melted, we're going to add one third cup of our chicken broth. After our chicken broth, we're just going to put half a teaspoon of our tamari sauce or soy sauce, some garlic powder to taste, some salt, and some pepper. After our seasonings, we're just going to add our green beans that we microwaved with the liquid. And then we're going to add our bacon pieces. And you just want to stir this to coat. Just going to add a little bit more salt. And some pepper. Once we're done coating the green beans, I'm just going to turn off our heat and we're going to pour this into a baking dish. So I'm just going to spoon my green beans into a baking dish. Spread it out evenly. Now you just want to top it with some shredded cheddar cheese. Now the last ingredient we are going to put is the pork grinds. And I did just crush them up. And you just want to sprinkle them on top. And this is going to give us that crispiness that we want in the green bean casserole. And now we're just going to pop this in our oven. So I pop my green beans in the oven. You just want to have it set to 350 degrees. And we're going to bake this for about 25 minutes. So after 25 minutes of our green bean casserole in the oven, everything should be nice and melted and bubbly. And I'm just going to cut into it and show you all what the inside looks like. And this is what you should have, a nice, healthy, keto, green bean casserole for Thanksgiving. So I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. Alright guys, so that concludes today's video of my keto green bean casserole for Thanksgiving. I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will link my Facebook in the description below for y'all to follow. And I'll see y'all in my next video.